Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am making bacci di dama. It's an Italian hazelnut cookie that is usually sandwiched together with either hazelnut spread, chocolate or an apricot jam. And bacci di dama in Italian means ladies kisses. So let's get started. For this cookie you will need one cup of hazelnut flour, one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of icing sugar, 3 fourths of a cup of softened butter, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, some vanilla sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, and a hazelnut spread, or you can use a melted chocolate. In a mixing bowl, add your softened butter, then add your icing sugar, then add your hazelnut flour, and an all-purpose flour. Add your vanilla sugar, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Use an electric mixer, we just need to combine all these ingredients to a crumbly stage and don't expect to see the dough right away. Since we're not using any eggs, there is pretty much no binding in this dough except butter and that's when our hands are gonna come handy because the heat from our hands is gonna start melting the butter and it's gonna form it into a dough. Our hazelnut dough is ready. We just need to roll it out and cut it into four pieces because it's gonna be easier to form it into little cookies. And your bachi di dama cookies should not be bigger than like buttons or I should say hazelnuts. So just form little balls out of the dough and place them on the baking sheet. You don't need to flatten them, just leave them round because they will flatten a little bit when they start baking. I have not tried, but I guess you can make bachi tidama cookies out of almond flour as well as out of walnut flour as long as you follow one simple rule. You need to take equal parts of all the ingredients. And we need to refrigerate our cookies for one hour before they bake. Bake your cookies in preheated to 320 degrees Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. They do not need to be browned. It's better if they um, stay a little bit on the paler side, but uh, you can tell they are ready by touching them. And I took my time to organize in all these cookies by sizes, so it would be easier for me to fill them. Now let's talk about filling. There are three different options to fill bachi tidama cookies. One is a hazelnut spread, um, the one I'm using. One is melted chocolate and one is apricot jam. And each region will have their own um, way of filling the bachi tidama cookies. And they would say that their filling is probably one of the most original. These cookies are so delicious on their own, so it doesn't really matter what filling you use to sandwich them together, as long as you do, because without sandwiching them together, they won't be bacha de damas, they won't be ladies' kisses. So you guys can sandwich them together with whatever you like. And um, the shelf life for these cookies is about four days if you keep them in a tight container. The time has come for us to make some espresso and enjoy these cookies. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try making these cookies and enjoy them with your families, with your loved ones, with your friends. They're just wonderful little cookies and they're so delicious. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.